Okay, so you all probably guessed what I'm going to talk about here, but uh, so who has seen Blackfish? Who has not seen Blackfish but knows everything about it already? Right? I, I mean, it's just an amazing, sweeping pop culture moment. So I won't spend too much time on this, but I just want to mention two, um, two of my favorite things about sort of looking at the anatomy of how this campaign worked out. So Blackfish premiered in 20, early 2013 at Sundance, and probably a number of you were there. I was not there. Uh, premiered at Sundance, um, had a theatrical distribution, premiered at CNN. I mean, and by the way, a really smart distribution strategy. That's a, that's a whole other topic for another day. But, you know, Sundance, theatrical, going right into television premiere, and then at the end of 2013, going into a Netflix premiere. Pretty smart, not only because of the distribution, but because the communication along the way. This is me doing this as a timeline. The communication along the way, at every moment, there were media moments, right? There are two things that I think are important to think about when you think about the Blackfish campaign and the fact that so many of us know about it and haven't even seen it. Um, Blackfish had amplified community, for sure, right? So PETA had already been talking about this issue for a number of years. And so it just so happened that this worked really beautifully as a piece of advocacy for PETA. And not just PETA, the group OPS, the group behind the Academy Award-winning film The Cove, which had premiered several years earlier, had kind of set a media and public consciousness about marine animals and their, their um, spirits and their ability to feel pain and empathy and feel families, right? So it sort of invaded public consciousness about how um, marine mammals were, marine animals are different. The other thing that happened with Blackfish, really important uh, to mention, the PR war here, I mean, the PR war is really obvious, right? So I'm actually gonna, not going to talk about the obvious part of it. There was a PR war, right? So um, SeaWorld, the home of the, the key orca in captiv captivity, SeaWorld went, um, you know, I don't want to say went on the attack, but I, I, but I do want to say created fact sheets and created information and said, well, here's what you don't know about SeaWorld that you're not learning from the movie. And so the movie would come back, the filmmakers would come back and, you know, sort of refute what was going on. So that was a media moment. But here's the real thing that I think is important and leads into our next topic. So SeaWorld was responding with facts and information. The PR war was facts and figures against a, an orca with a face and a name and a backstory and a spirit that you cared about. And that was the important thing to know about what happened with Blackfish. And that gets into our next issue, which is why is it? So what's missing so far? What's missing so far in the talk is what is it about the story? Mm -hmm.